Hello, everyone. Welcome to this edition. This is the 69th edition of the Ask Barry V Show. I'm Barry Vanover. This is my partner, Miles Baker. Today's show is brought to you by Studio Pro, your marketing and management software designed specifically for the martial arts industry. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to yourstudiopro.com. I want you to simply click the demo button and you know what? Invest 10, 15 minutes and and letting them take you through a live demo. Now, here's the secret. If you like it, go now, go to another website, go to biz, B-I-Z, max, M-A-X, special, Dot com. And if you fill out the information there, what that's going to allow you to do is not just get Studio Pro software for $199 a month, but you're going to get these two guys consulting for you for the same price. So you're going to get great management and marketing software, top-notch, best in the industry consulting only for $199 a month. That is an unbelievable deal. Also, this show is brought to you by martialartsmarketing.com. Right now, you can get 20% off of anything on the website with the coupon code SPOOKY. And particularly, you need to be ordering those Halloween cards if you haven't already. You know, I like to get our Halloween cards in the very beginning of October, but you order them when you hear this. You'll get them in by the, you know, the the, the first week, and you'll still have three strong weeks to, to market Halloween. And we discussed, if you haven't seen it, we discussed, I think, Halloween marketing in pretty much detail, either the show 68 or 67. Yeah. I can't remember, but you can check that out. Also... Here's the product that martialartsmarketing.com wanted us to show you. This is actually from our schools. This is just a nice folder, full color, beautiful folder. And what we use this is for our new student packs. When a new student and a family signs up, I mean, they're putting money down. They're spending $195 on a down payment or $295 down, paying in full. And at least you give them a nice presentation to look professional with a copy of their membership in it, you know, your new student guide, your the black belt excellence sheet that the kid's going to need to fill out this uh, this next month for black belt excellence, advertisements for your martial arts birthday parties, put together a nice new student pack. And you can get these customized for your look of your school with your logo on it, very inexpen- inexpensive. I can't talk today. Inexpensively. It's been a long week. <laughs> been a long week, right? at martialartsmarketing.com. Boom. So go check out all those different things that they have. Does your instructors carry business cards with their information on one side and a guest pass or a VIP pass on the other one? You can get business cards at martialartsmarketing.com and everybody in your school should have business cards. Every employee, even part-time people, to hand out and pass those out. I was just at the grocery store the other day and I'm 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 in line after I left work and there's a mother with two kids and bam, I pulled out my cards and I handed it to them on the spot. Now, may never see them again, but if I didn't have those cards, I had no nothing to open the conversation with and nothing to hand and to we them. We have them for students too with their whole to be a star, not to yeah. get it off track. Right. But, yeah. And our to be a star yeah. program, which is a which is a, a a a program designed to go into the get you into the public schools. We print those business cards for the kids to give to their friends at school. Yeah, it's a great idea. All right, I've got all the plugs out of the way. Let's go ahead and get started with some questions. Got some good questions this week. Our first question comes from B. Jenkins. Asks, he says, "Uh, I'm thinking of charging testing fees. What are your thoughts on testing fees and how much do you suggest I charge? I love testing fees. You know why? Because every three, we do mass graduations, which means Every student in all of our schools test the same weekend every three months. So we don't do where so many people test every month or just whenever you want to organize a belt test. It's standardized every three months. The last weekend of every three months, we have this mass graduation. And I like testing fees because that's an extra thousands and thousands of dollars every three months as a nice bonus. I don't even count testing fees in our gross revenue goals because that's something that the the managers really didn't work for. That's something that just happens. So I don't let that money even count toward the, each individual school's gross revenue goals. I like to count that money as extra and do extra things with it, like invest that money separately 
or take that money and save it to open the new location or your Porsche payment or your boat payment or whatever you want to do with that extra money. That's money for nothing, people. Money for nothing. Now, I don't mean for nothing. You're giving great value because you're putting on an amazing graduation and amazing testing. So yes, your answer to your first question, absolutely. I'm a big fan of testing fees. Um, How much? How much? You know what I do is I like to to take, I try to get an extra payment, an extra tuition payment every three months. So if you're charging $125 a month, uh, $125, what did I said that wrong? Not an extra payment, extra every three months. I want to take the the tuition payment and I want to divide it by three. And that's what I would charge. So if you're charging, you know, $150 a month for tuition, then a third of that is going to be 50 bucks. So, you know, that's how we just simply determine what testing fees would be a third of your tuition payments. Now, I just made that up. There's no science behind that. That's just how I always looked at it. Um, and you got to make sure, like you said, you got to put on a good show and a good testing yeah. and cause then parents understand well, and they appreciate it and they have no problem paying and that for it. The bell that yeah. includes a certificate. Yeah. If you're doing it off site, the gym rental or facility rental and staffing and, and, and so forth, you do have some hard expenses there. Um, but really it's kind of, I know martial arts organizations that charge a lot of money for testing fees, but I've always done a third of the the monthly tuition payment as my testing. You know, one of the questions I get often when people are inquiring about Premier Martial Arts is, um, do we take a portion of their students' testing fees? Yeah, I, I think and that's, that's crazy. Some, well, I think a lot of martial arts organizations in the past, yeah. that's, that's how they the, made the money yeah. is they got the yeah. testing fee from their students in always, order to use their brand. I just can't believe that. I'm like, absolutely not. That's, that's your money. money. That's your money. That's a lot of you know, thousands, school of thousands of dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so our next question comes from Jim McMahon Ask. He says, love the show and thanks for doing it. Uh, I heard you recently mention your top 10 stats. Can you go over those and tell me what they are? Okay, top 10 stats are, now there's a lot of different statistics that we calculate and our software calculates for us. The top 10 stats are the stats that we discuss in staff meetings uh, twice a week. So we look at those top 10 those top 10 stats will then bring up discussion, right? If any one of those stats are out of whack or not uh, not accurate or not stat we need toward our goal, then the conversation becomes about that particular aspect of those statistics. Um, so it does dictate a lot of conversation that happens in our staff meetings. Um, first thing before you even worry about statistics, whether it's your normal stats or just the top 10 is goals. You got to have goals in different areas or the stats mean nothing. And you got to keep accurate statistics or the statistics mean absolutely nothing. So, but let me go over your question. The top 10 stats is going to be first is going to be new student. I mean, it's going to be power appointments for us. Power appointment just simply means a number, the number of, uh, appointments scheduled for two lesson trial programs, introductory lessons, or your engagement experience that the people are having. It's basically an appointment set that someone's going to come in and try your school. So we call those power appointments. So very first stat is the power appointments. So maybe we have a goal to schedule 10 power appointments every week. Then we look at those top 10 stats uh, on a weekly basis to see how well we're doing or on a monthly basis, right? So the next one is going to be the number of new students that we've sold so far this month. It's going to be the number of upgrade appointments scheduled so far. So if we're going to upgrade six people as our goal for the month, we, need to, we know we need to sit down with 12 families or 12 students, adult students or families or whatever, and conference them. And about 50% is going to, going to upgrade. So we, we, we know those goals. So the number of appointments scheduled is number for upgrades is number three. Number four is the number of upgrade appointments sold. How close are we to hitting our goal? Uh, number five is going to be our in-house revenue. How much money we brought in in-house in cash. Because that's, that's so important. But again, here's an example. You got to have a gross revenue goal. So if your gross revenue goal is is you want to bring in $40,000 and let's say your tuition 
monthly tuition payments equal 20 to keep numbers round. You've got $20,000 in-house cash you got to do and you got to look at it weekly because you got to do $5,000 every single week in in-house cash in order to get that $20,000 in-house revenue to get the $40,000 gross revenue goal for your school. So number five is in-house revenue. Number six is tuition billing. Just making sure we're looking at our tuition billing and is that money coming in in the amount that we're wanting to hit our goal or do we all of a sudden have a bunch of payments that are being missed or or so forth. So we look at the in-house billing. We're going to look at our uh, total accounts receivables is going to be number seven. How much does that add up? Again, how close are we to our total revenue goal? Then we're going to look at the months, the number of expirations we have for this coming week or the month. And the number, that's number eight. Number nine is how many of those expirations did we re-sign or for a lack of a better term, did we renew? So monthly and weekly, we'll have a goal. How many people are expiring? How many of those people actually renewed? That's the quickest snapshot at retention other than going to your software and looking at long-term retention numbers. And then number 10 is attendance. How many students were active And for us, active means they came at least once that particular week. And therefore, that's also a a quick look at your attrition and your retention numbers. You might have 240 people on your uh, roster, but what if only 125 came and trained? You got a big problem, right? Now, unless it's the week between Christmas and New Year's and you choose to be open, then there's a reason. But at least you're looking at that every single week. Now, that's the top 10 There's two more numbers we look at is mass intros. If you do mass intros on a weekly basis like our clients do, then we recommend that you look at each week or each time you have a mass intro, how many people showed up, how many people of those signed up. And that's the top 10 minimum stats we look at during each and every staff meeting with our managers of our locations. Now, if it's just you and one employee, it was just me and him running the school, we sit down and we look at that together because this is our team. You don't have to have a big, uh, large staff in order to sit down and have a really good staff meeting. Me and this guy sit down with meetings all the time and talk about different aspects, just us, okay? Uh, Let's see, let's go ahead and use this time to go into our new segment at Victory Time. Today, we want to celebrate David Dunn. Uh, He is a client of ours in Santa Clarita, California. David Dunn has been with us for about 12 months. Now he's a premier martial arts school. So if you want to speak to him, you want to talk to him, David Dunn, Santa Clarita, premier martial arts. But in 12 months, he has added over than he did the previous 12 months, $100,000 to his revenue. He made an extra $100,000 in only 12 months of implementing our program and our systems. So huge congratulations. You know, we have the systems, but Mr. Dunn had to do all the hard work. And he attacked it with, I'm going to say another word I can't pronounce, veracity. He, he He attacked it. He made massive changes quick. He jumped right into the system. He did everything that he was told to do, and he made an extra $100,000. Talk about getting a raise yeah. fast, yeah. right? Think how that $100,000 can change Change's someone's life, life their family's life. life, their kids' lives, their employees' lives. Yeah. And he's not done. Yeah. That's just scratching the surface. Yeah. So congratulations to David Dunn, Santa Clarita, California. Let's we got another question. We do. We have two more questions for this week. The next one comes from V. Carey. V. Carey asks, how do you figure average price per student and why is this important? Average price per student is very simple. How much money last month, gross revenue, how much total money did you bring in divided by the number of students that you have gives you the average price per student? Or really, it's it's value per student. How much is each student worth, right? So it's that value the student has. Because then, like, we're uh, we are, right now at our schools in Tennessee, uh, we don't charge quite what maybe other states or cities charge up in the Northeast. But, you know, our average price per student or average value per student, rather, is $178 a month. So we know if we have 200 students in a school or 300 students, each one of them are worth $178 every single month. Um, so that's the quickest way. And why is that important? You know, People in the martial arts industry, when we go to Maya Super Show or we're talking to school owners and 
a lot of times when they're talking that find out that you own a school or whatever, they ask, oh, how many students you have? And, and honestly, the martial arts owners that network that are on a different level, they never ask the number of students you have because frankly, the number of students just doesn't matter. It's how much money you're making. I would much rather only have 200 students, right, and gross $50,000 a month on 200 students than to have 400 students and gross $50,000 a month, right? Double the students, double the work, double the problems, double the headache, double everything. And it's not important the number of students. It's how much money you're making, right? And of course, the real thing is how much money you're netting, how much profit are you making that goes in your pocket. But now that's a different conversation and that you start getting into a lot of uh, details and personal ways people account for their money, which most people don't want to talk about. But gross revenue is what they talk about or price per student, you know. And then if you're operating schools like we are in a very small square foot blueprint or footprint, we know we got to fit as many students in a small space as we can. So we want to look at all of our income generators, make sure that we're maximizing all those income generators, that we're making as much money as we can for the number of students that we can actually fit into that 1,200 square feet, right, uh, which is our S1X model. So that's why it's so very important is the, the, the average value per student is a better way of putting it than price per student. That's good information for sure. That feels like a lot of people still having the student, how many student conversation. Yeah, yeah how many so, students you got? Or I, I remember one guy was, oh, you know, I got a huge, I've got the biggest school in our city. It's 5,000 square feet. So he, he said biggest school, meaning it wasn't the school that maybe made the most money. It wasn't even the school that had the most students. students. Right. He's talking about square feet, which is the dumbest the, the concern is how, <laughs> yeah. how physically square feet big your school is. You know? All right. Our last question for this week comes from M. Samuel Ask. From listening to your show, I've decided to begin doing martial arts birthday parties. Yay. Yeah. How much do you charge and what are some ideas to begin marketing these? Okay. Good questions. How much to charge? You know what? Everywhere is different. I know a guy in New York City that it's $600 for a martial arts birthday party because in Manhattan, birthday parties of any kind are expensive and he can get that. Yeah. And then he even upsells uh, the parents and sells every kid a uniform, right? <laughs> so he's selling $50 uniforms plus yeah. charging $600 yeah, for his good. birthday party, yeah. you know, for his for his Manhattan locations. And by the way, that's Mario Guerrera in, uh, in Manhattan, a good operator there. I think he has four locations now or something like that in the city, uh, NYC Martial Arts, I think. So if you want to ask him about what he does on his birthday parties. Uh, but for... Uh, for my, my answer to that question, without being too long-winded, is find out what birthday parties are running in your area. You know, how much does Chuck E. Cheese charge? Or how much is Discovery Zone charge? Or Regal Cinema charge for birthday parties? Or just call around and get an idea. And kind of don't be the cheapest. Charge what they're charging or even a little more. You know, uh, uh, my gym or little, little gym, they do birthday parties. Find how much theirs are. I honestly don't think a martial arts birthday party should be any less than $295, no matter what everybody else is charging, but maybe even more. Okay. Now, what's the next question? How marketing. to start marketing? Yep. All right. I'll do one. You do one. Okay. I'll do one. You do one. I'll go first in case okay. I can't think of a second one. Okay. Okay. And then you're on the spot. Okay. Um, I'd start off with your own current students by announcing and handing a flyer out to all the students with a special. They can... Schedule a birthday party for the birthday parties, let's say, are normally $300. All of your current students can get them for half price, only $150. If they schedule the birthday party in a given month, let's say October, if they schedule it in October, as long as they schedule in October, they put down a $25 deposit on the party, they can get a party for half price and book it and schedule anytime the next 12 months. So hand that out and you'll start scheduling parties with your own students. So there's the first idea. First one, uh, second one would be your own website. So Absolutely. Your own website, make sure it SEOs for birthday parties. Yep. Get all the relevant information there. So that's a big one. You don't see that on many martial art websites. Yeah, like on, on the actual apps. program selection. Yeah. Have a birthday party selection. I'd like to see more schools doing that. Yeah, absolutely. What else we got? Um, 
your email list. Hopefully you've been gathering all your prospect emails from birthday part, other birthday parties, people walking in the door uh, from your website leads, from your Facebook leads, from your promotional booth leads. Hopefully you're saving all those and organizing it in your software in Studio Pro. And then go back in every month, not only all your prospect emails, but all your current students for every single month, send out a birthday party email to anybody having a birthday party four months out. So little Billy's birthday party is in January. So October, November, December, and January. That mother is going to receive an email about our awesome birthday parties in October, November, December for sure. You could even send that a little early and do it in, uh, uh, and you could have sent it out in September. So they get four announcements leading up to their birthday party about your awesome birthday party. So they, they increase the chances that they pick your school as the martial arts birthday party. Birthday parties are pretty easy to book and sell because think how many kids have a Everybody birthday every birthday. weekend, yeah. you know, and they're tired of doing the same thing constantly. Yeah. So having a karate birthday party or a martial it's arts unique. birthday party is unique and different and fun. So there's another way to promote your birthday parties. Your turn. Old, uh Students, current students, we current website, students, website past and prospects. prospects. Let's do new students. So part of our our sales process, when somebody signs up, we we pitch them and have all the information in our packet here about yeah. our birthday. We parties. give them a free birthday party, their first birthday party free when they sign up. Now that's a three hundred dollar value. We don't confuse the enrollment conference and say, oh, and if you sign up today, you get a free birthday party that's $300. So really, your six months is only costing you 400 bucks. Or We don't do that, right? Because we don't want to make it confusing. But we do give them the free birthday party and try to get them to schedule it the day that they sign up. Yep. So you you came up with that yep. one, right? Uh, and then I took over and started okay. talking. Let's give them some more. Uh, how about um, Facebook? Facebook, yeah. Yeah. And if you're on our online igniter program, you've got you've got a Facebook ad that was given to you, the header, pi the pick, mm -hmm. Facebook ad pick, and advertise your martial arts birthday parties. If you've got the pa landing page on your website, have it linked straight to there. Gather their information yeah. and and have it for sale. I wouldn't do free birthday parties. Anytime something's free, there people think there's a catch yeah. and there's something trickier. This must be a shitty birthday party yeah. because yeah. it's free, yeah. right? Yeah. Charge two ninety nine. Yeah. Right, parents are looking for things for their kids to do birth birthday parties. So Facebook was my next Facebook, uh, all promotional booths. So you're already doing your martial arts yep. lessons. You got your your spin wheel and your giveaway boxes and all that kind of stuff. Always promote your birthday party. So you you can hand out flyers or brochures. Yep. We have brochures for our birthday parties and give away. Have a, a lead box where. You're saying, oh, by the way, we're raffling off some free martial arts birthday parties. So it's a method of getting them to give you the lead. Mm -hmm. And maybe one person wins a free and everybody else. Maybe you yeah. guys need some. You call them and, hey, you didn't win the free one, but you got half price yeah. if you go ahead and book it today, yeah. right, for any time in the next 12 months. Absolutely. I can't think of any more. What else we got? Um, uh, not on such a mass scale, but we would always do, like, uh, local elementary schools looking for donations. So. You know, a lot of schools will say, well, we'll give a, a free membership, a 90-day, 60-day. Well, that's one kid that's coming in for that. If you give free a free membership. intro or a free... Yeah, or a free intro, it's yeah. one kid that's there. Birthday party, you're going to have 15, 30 kids there. 15, so. 20, 25 kids yeah. was affected from that one giveaway yeah. Yeah. for the school's raffle or drawing. That's yeah. a really good one. Yeah. That's a really good so, one. These are... People really wonder if they know we just make... We're not making this up, but it's off the top of our right. head, yeah. you know? we're not. Sure it's not like we have the time to sit down and... With. And discuss all this right. stuff before we sit down and shoot this show. We literally pull the questions and then just sit down and do it. All right. But that's a lot. If you got, if you're not doing any marketing for birthday parties and you just ran with those, yeah, yeah you're gonna start packing it out. Well, when you when you have goals of, you know, our S one X models because they're small and expenses are low. We only need to sign up ten new students a month to be highly successful and upgrade five. A bigger school like our training center or yeah. you know the John Lyles type schools, yeah. uh, uh, Mr. Garza schools, big schools, Chris Bro, these big schools with three, four hundred students, they got to sign up a lot of people yeah. every month to stay there, right? Yeah. So either way, birthday parties is one of those things that is going to bring in outside people. You know, so hopefully some of the other guys that, you know, fight the birthday party, not doing them or think we're selling out or whatever, they see the benefit of it. Yeah. I mean, you know, how do you target five to 12 year olds any faster? 
You know, we work so hard at going out and getting the public schools to do mass intros. A birthday party is a mom bringing you 20 yeah. kids that you don't know into your school. So as long as your location looks good, your presentation is tight, how can you not yeah. sign some kids up? And, you know, Mr. Owner, let's say you don't want to do them yourself for whatever reason. Excuse me. And I get that. I totally get that after a while. You can train a college student to do a really good birthday party, martial arts birthday party. A couple college students can handle them, and they can make some extra money. Yeah. And we've got, you not know. to go into it today, but all sorts of ways to incentivize those instructors to make really good money from just birthday parties. Yeah. So it's yeah. a good income. I mean, you pay a guy 50 bucks for yeah. an hour and a half party. Yeah. That's a, that's good yeah. money. You know, and the, I guarantee you The way you the, we do the tip, the way we do the incentives for scheduling appointments, so many people show up for mass intro. Uh, now you're so just many people getting, now you're yeah, being yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Now you're just yeah. telling yeah. them all their Tell secrets all. Yeah. and stuff. So, But lots of money. From and if you're a biz max, if you're a business max, Maximizer client of ours, there is a module for how we do the birthday parties, videos of the birthday parties, everything that you'll be receiving in your uh, materials. Is that it? That's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.